Hey, Master Gardeners, I'm at the Extension Office and there's an intriguing house plant in flower. So come on, take a look at this up close because it's a common question that we'll get sometimes about, wow, my Dracaena, this is a corn plant Dracaena, is coming into bloom. Now this one's been exposed to some really cold temperatures, so we're showing some dark colors. Usually this is a creamy, yellowish, white color. But just these last few days, it's caused some of these brownish blossoms, some of the little ones to open up and very fragrant. So the science name to this plant is Dracaena fragrance. Why do you think called fragrance? Because it has a very fragrant blossom. This particular cultivar is called Masangiana. So Dracaena fragrance, Masangiana, we just call it corn plant. And so Dracaenas are a huge group of houseplants. You probably have some growing in your house, and if you don't, you ought to try them because they're easy to grow. Low maintenance, just bright indirect light, kept evenly moist. These are tropical plants. Typically, all your Dracaenas are more of a narrow type foliage, sometimes up to three inches. Some of your Dracaenas can grow up to 20 feet tall. This particular one, the corn plant, is about 10 feet tall, and this is a Dracaena marginata. And this one can also get really tall. This is another really common house plant and really easy to take care of in the, it's a monocot. So if you remember as a master gardener, you studied plants that are in the lily family. Well, this agave AC family is in that lily family. So we have parallel veined leaves. And this is called corn plant because you can see the foliage kind of looks like a corn, corn foliage. And then it has that pretty golden variegated in the Dracaena masangiana. So easy house plant, I encourage you to try. And then when it gets too big and you're like, what do I do with it? It's so tall. Well, if you're afraid to just cut it off and stick it in the soil, which is what we did right here. I cut these off and just jammed them in the ground. But you can air layer, and I'll show you the video on air layering. This is the finished air layering job we did. We had packed this, we had cut this stem. And if you look close, you can see there's a toothpick inside of here. See the pink toothpick? I slit the stem a third of the way through. I jammed a toothpick in there. I put some rooting hormone inside. And tra-la, here we are two months later, and I'm getting a nice set of roots. What I did is, to encourage the roots, I packed it with sphagnum moss and kept it moist. And I wrapped it in this bag real tight. And I left it in there for two months. And voila, I rooted inside of there. So now, all I'm gonna do is come in and cut it right here and I'll be able to take this piece and stick it in my pot. And I know that I already have roots inside my bag. So ear layering is a super easy way. But anyway, corn plants are easy to grow. You know, you read on the internet, it says usually the plants are big and mature to flower, but look over here. Here's a little one that's in a small vertical garden that we have, and this just finished blooming about a month or so ago. So uh, I don't know what stressor in the life of this plant promoted it to go into flower. Our nights dip really cold out here in this lobby area of our Harford County Extension Office, and Maryland nights tend to get cold. So could have been the cold nights that stimulated that little guy to flower. So it's not necessarily related to size. I don't know how to tell you how to make your Dracaena Masangiana to flower. But anyway, a beautiful one to see.